What is going on, Trash Talkers? We are back with another episode for you. In today's video, we're going to give you our quarterback rankings heading into the 2022 NFL season. All that and much more coming your way right now. All right, before we get into today's video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video as it will help us out tremendously. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. All right, Nick, with the 2022 NFL season fast approaching, we only have two weeks left, and this is the perfect time to go through quarterback rankings. I want to go one through 32. We're going to figure it out in our tiered list. So we have S, A, B, C, and F. We're going to talk to you a little bit about what these quarterbacks do and where they belong. Uh, when you look at this, you want to say S is the absolute elite tier. These are the best of the best. A are really good, maybe budding superstars. B is a little above average. They're definitely serviceable, can get you to a championship. You're not going to win because of them, but you can win with them. C is just an average quarterback. You're typical game manager and f is somebody you need to really just you, you got to blow it up you got to figure something else out so nick with all of that in mind i'm gonna toss it over to you why don't you get us started with the first quarterback on the list yeah our first quarterback being baker mayfield and for me i think he belongs in the b tier yeah, I agree. I think Baker Mayfield's definitely a B-tier quarterback. He's he's not at C level yet, but he's on the fringe. He's a low B. I think that there's a lot more he can do in Carolina. Hopefully he can show what he has. Uh, next up, we have Carson Wentz. I also think that he's B, fringe C. I, I don't know if he's going to be any better than he was last year, so I'll leave it up to you where you want to put him. Honestly, I think Carson Wentz is a C. He's not a guy you're going to win because of. He is a game manager at best. We, we have seen so much, and ever since that injury in Philadelphia, he has just not been the same. Uh, next up, Dak Prescott. I'm going to put him A tier. I think that he belongs there. He's just not quite in the elite of the elite. I uh, This is a tough one. I'll, I'll stick with your A, but he is a low A for me. I think he's a, a higher B, in my opinion. I think that he's a guy you can definitely win because of. He's going to have those flashy games, the flashy stats, but he has not shown that he can get this team to the next level. He has not taken that step with a Justin Herbert or a Josh Allen. Like He has not been that guy. So I say high B, but if you want to go A, I'm fine with that. Uh, next one, I think we'll agree with Daniel Jones. I think he belongs in the F tier. Send him down. All right. Davis Mills. I like what I saw last year, but he's got to improve. I think he's a C-tier player. I think he's C-tier with an with upside to get to a low B right now. I, I, I agree with you. I like what I saw last year. Can he improve upon it? We'll see this year. Interesting one. Derek Carr. I think that he's A-tier. I think the new weapons around him actually make him much better than he was in previous years. Yeah, I'm still sticking with a B on my my side of things just because, again, Derek Carr, he, you can win with him for sure, and he'll have those gaudy numbers. We saw them last year. But at the end of the day, is he a guy that you can really rest your entire franchise on? I'm not sure he is. So for me, it's a high B, but Nick, I'll, I'll go with you. I'm putting him A. All right, ne next up, Geno Smith. I don't even know why he's the starter, but I think he belongs in the F tier. I believe I believe F tier as well. Even if he won a quarterback competition, trash versus trash does not help. Our right, next up we have Jacoby Brissett. Also, I think you know he's a backup playing as a starter just in the interim. To me, he's an F tier player. He's just a guy to get you to week eleven. See, this is where I disagree, and I'm just going to say this quickly. I think he's a C tier, and I believe he is a game manager. I believe that you can win with him not because of him. If you have an entire system around him, an entire team that is built to win, and you put Jacoby Brissett in, he could win you some games. He could get you there. I don't think he can get you over the hump, but you can win with him, not because of him. So for me, he's a C tier, but if you want to throw him at F, I, I get it. He's a backup, and he's only there because Deshaun decided to be, you know, Deshaun. No, point made. I like it. I'll put him at the C tier. Uh, Jalen Hurts, I believe that he is an A tier quarterback, but he could put himself in that S tier conversation this year. Okay, I, I'm actually with you on this one. I thought you were going to go the opposite way. I, I think he's an A tier right now. He showed flashes of absolute brilliance last year. The offensive line is a little bit better. They really beefed up with this offensive line. The weapons around him, obviously, A.J. Brown. We're not going to rehash everything that they did. 
this Eagles team is for real. For those of you who don't think so, this is this is the time. Jalen Hurts is on the rise, and he could be the next coming of the elite quarterback. Uh, next up, Jameis Winston. Similar argument, but I think that he's a B-tier player that could be an A-tier player by the end of the year. Yeah, I'm, oof, this is tough. I I'll say B. He's a solid B. I, I don't think he's a either closer to A or C. I think he's right in the middle of, of that B tier. All right, next up, Jared Goff, game manager, similar to the rest of the C's here. I think he belongs there. Yeah, that C tier was made for a player like Jared Goff. Uh, next up, Justin Fields. I'm going to put him, I think he's C tier, but has the ability to be a B or even A tier, depending on how his protection holds up and he can get to his targets. So that, that's, the, that's the difference. I'm going to take it based on his skill set. I think he's a B tier. Everything else around him is deplorable. I mean, the fact that they're even an NFL franchise is just absurd at this point. But I think Justin Fields is the lone bright spot that they have right now. And to rest the entire franchise on his shoulders, he's at least a B tier in my eyes. All right, I'll put him there, B tier. Next up, we have Kenny Pickett. Now, we don't know if it's going to be him or Mitch Trubisky as a starter in Pittsburgh. But if it is indeed Kenny Pickett, I think that he's a C tier with a lot of upside going into his rookie season. Yeah, I just haven't seen enough from Pickett right now at the NFL level. Again, he's a rookie, so I'd put him at C. He can climb his way out. He he could go all the way to S if he were to really hit that elite level in his first year. It's doubtful, but there's so much room for growth for this guy. I think that C tier is where we have to put him right now. Uh, next up, we have Kirk Cousins. Now, Kirk Cousins has been a strong quarterback for a lot of years, but he doesn't get a lot of credit. I think that he's an A tier quarterback. No, I agree. I think he's an A. It, it's a low A for sure. Um, but the numbers he puts up and the ability to win has really shown. And obviously, you like that really bumps him up from a B to an A. So I, I'm sticking with Kirk Cousins. All right, next up, we have Kyler Murray. And I think he's very similar to Jalen Hurts, an A tier quarterback at the moment with the ability to move on up into that elite of the elite at the S tier. I think for Kyler Murray to move up from A to S would require him to study without playing video games, but that's just my opinion. Uh, with with the, that being said, Kyler Murray, phase Kyler, phase up. Uh, I, I think that he is the guy that can take this franchise to the next level. It really is going to be on Cliff Kingsbury to figure out this offense for the first six weeks without DeAndre Hopkins. You're going to have to get a lot of things going. I think Kyler Murray is that guy. He's an A for sure, fringe S tier in my opinion. Next up, we have Mac Jones. I think he's a B-tier quarterback with a lot of upside going into his second season. Yeah, I, I put him right at that same level of Kirk Cousins right now. He's the middle of a B-tier. He's not closer to A, any closer than he is to a C at this point. Interesting. Marcus Mariota with the Atlanta Falcons. Now, I don't really have too high hopes. In fact, I think Desmond Ritter is going to be the quarterback by week four. I think he belongs in the F-tier. Yeah, listen, Marcus Mariota, he showed signs last year in Las Vegas while Derek Carr was out. But at the end of the day, he's just not going to be able to do it for a full season. And I think Desmond Ritter has shown sh signs of brilliance this preseason. I'm really excited for what this young kid can do. I, I think that uh, Marcus Mariota is an F. Uh, next up, we have Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan hasn't had a strong season since that Super Bowl run, but I still think that he's a strong quarterback. I'm going to put him in the B tier. What do you think? Uh, he's a low B. He's definitely a low B. I think we start we started to see some signs of decline last year. I'm, I'm with you on the B. It, he's not a C yet, but this could be a season where you just see him drop and drop and drop. Uh, we got to see it this year, but he's definitely a, a B heading in. Up next, we have Mitch Trubisky, the other Pittsburgh quarterback, along the same lines as Kenny Pickett. I think he's a C-tier quarterback. Yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you. Nothing to argue. Uh, then we have Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson's looking to make that comeback, and he was the elite of the elite, but I'm not sure he's that anymore. You have to convince me. Is he A-tier or is he S-tier? Broncos country. Let's ride. I think he's an A tier right now. He has to prove himself to be in the elite of the elite. And right now he has not been that guy. We have to see it. It's very easy for him to show it because if I see signs of the old Russ, he's right back in it. Mr. Unlimited could be back. Interesting. All right. Next up, we have Ryan Tannehill. Tannehill has a little bit of competition with Malik Willis looking really good in the preseason. I think that Ryan Tannehill is a B tier quarterback. 
I'm going to go C tier. I've never been a fan of Ryan Tannehill. In my humble opinion, I believe that Ryan Tannehill has been a game manager his entire career. He has benefited from really good weapons around him, really good schemes around him. If you were to put him on a lesser team, he would perform at a lesser level. It's just my opinion that he is just tofu. He takes on the flavor of what's around him. And right now, he's not that great. C tier is where I put him. That's fair. I mean, last year he did crumble in the playoffs when Derrick Henry could not carry the team. So I will agree with you. I, you know, I, I'll uh, switch over to the C tier as well. Uh, next up, we have Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence going to his second season. A lot of upside. New coaching staff. That's going to be the biggest difference maker. I think that he's a B tier quarterback. Uh, I put him B. Him and Mac Jones to me are right right side by side again you can throw Kirk Cousins in that same conversation as as to where they are right now I think all three of them are on level playing field I, I like that spot for Trevor Lawrence he could arise to be a high A tier by the end of this year next up we have Tua Tungavailoa I think that we're going to disagree here I think he's a B tier quarterback I know you don't feel very strong but what do you think about B tier oh I do feel very strong about him being an F tier quarterback <laughs> I think he's horrible I, listen, this isn't me hating on the Dolphins. Yes, it I is. Think they, no, it is. It's not. No, because I think they put together a great team. But two is going to be the one that Fs it up. He couldn't even finish games last year without Ryan Fitzpatrick having to bail him out. And you want him to take the wheels of this Ferrari that you put in front of him called Tyreek Hill and really take the reins of this franchise? I don't see it happening. I say F tier. You say B. If, if you want to split hairs, I'll go low C and call it a day. You know what? I'll make it C just so we won't argue any longer about to a tongue of Iloa, but I think that he is a B tier with some upside this season. Uh, and then we have Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson being injured, but will be coming back and will be the starter for the Jets. I don't like anything I've seen from this guy. I don't see anything in the future that looks promising. I think that he's an F tier quarterback. Can we create a another bracket for him for got that dog in him? Because that's basically the only thing that I like about this guy. Outside of that, I'd say he's a low C tier. He has the arm talent. He has things that we've seen that are when you put him in a game have not translated i just don't understand how in practice and in training camps you can look so good as soon as you get into a game it all falls apart i just don't understand it zach wilson's got to be able to figure it out he's a low c in my opinion uh I, i'd say based on his youth i go with the c if he was older and still not figuring it out then i'd put him in f tier but I, i'd say c right now now there is something odd about this tier maker there are no s tier quarterbacks and that being because we don't see Josh Allen, we don't see Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, any of these major quarterbacks in the league, Patrick Mahomes as well. I think we need to just agree that those guys are the best of the best and there's no reason that we need to argue where they should be tiered. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think Justin Herbert has to be in that category as well. Obviously not pictured here as well. So when you talk about Justin Herbert and Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, those guys are the class of the NFL. When you talk about being a quarterback in this league, you talk about those guys and what they've been able to do. Obviously, Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time. That is not even in question. Winning seven Super Bowls, going to 10. That guy is phenomenal. Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes have some of the the best arm talent I have seen since Brett Favre and even before that probably not too many more I believe that at the end of the day Justin Herbert is young enough to become even better than some of these guys he has the talent the skill set and the players around him to really get things going I I'm super excited about all of those quarterbacks not sure why they're not pictured here but uh, we'll, we'll try to figure it out one way or another all right well that's going to be all for now thank you all for watching be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. We go live every single day. That'll be all. Peace and love.